Namaste. I'm Dr. Shweta. I'm an obstetrician and gynecologist. I'm a fertility consultant as well. I practice at Janista Fertility Center and Hospital, which is located at Basveshwar Nagar in Bangalore. I'm the managing director of uh, Janista Fertility Center and Hospital. Janista. Why Janista? What does Janista mean? Janista means desire. Most of the people come here with a desire to conceive, and that is why you know, we chose the name as Janista. IVF is one of the safest procedure that is available for the couple to help them conceive. IVF means in vitro fertilization or ICSI that is intracytoplasmic sperm injection. It is a relatively safe procedure. During this procedure, this lasts for at least 15 to 16 days where the person has to take injections every day and this is needed for the development of the follicles. The injections that are used, they are purified form of injection which are of the highest quality and they have passed all the tests and only after that we will be using them for the production of follicles. Now how many times do you have to undergo the procedure? There are only two times where you will have to undergo anesthesia. That is once during hysteroscopy just to check whether the uterine cavity is good enough or not for uh, the IVF to succeed and uh, secondly during the egg pickup. Egg pickup is also done an under anesthesia where we put in a needle into the ovaries and draw the fluid and we check for the presence of egg in this fluid. So these two procedures are uh, generally performed under short anesthesia where the procedure lasts for maybe less than 4 to 5 minutes. And once we finish the stage, then transfer of embryos does not require any anesthesia. It is done very similarly to the procedure which is performed during intrauterine insemination. So because the procedure or duration is very less and the injections that we used are quite safe and it is past the drug standard, IVF is quite safe to undergo. Now what are the misconceptions that is about IVF? One is, is it safe to undergo or not? Now second thing is, is it very expensive? What happens is IVF is expensive because of two things mainly, because of the drugs. The drugs Drugs means the injections that are used to produce the follicles. These are highly purified recombinant injections. Okay, so when we use them, the cost naturally increases. Then the media, the media in which we culture the embryos, basically make the embryos, form the embryos and nurture them in the IVF laboratory. So this media is expensive. So that is why the IVF cost is very high. Thirdly, people think uh, they're really worried whether the baby that is born through IVF is normal or not. The abnormality rate in IVF born babies is about 8% whereas when you conceive naturally without any help, the abnormality rate is about 4% so there is not much of a difference there. Then people are really worried about whether we're going to use the same eggs or sperms, whether there'll be any interchange in the laboratory. Please be assured that these kind of things will never happen. Your egg and your sperm will be used and proper labeling of samples will happen in the lab. The junior embryologist checks, the senior embryologist checks, we will read the name on the petri dish and on the test tube. A process is already made so that uh, there won't be any mix up of eggs and sperms. Finally, people, they think that bed rest is needed, they'll have to leave the job when they're undergoing IVF. Definitely no, bed rest is not needed and once you have conceived, uh, we would want you to be normal, as normal as possible. So please no bed rest and uh, you have to continue with your physical activity with pregnancy yoga or walking and whatever it is, not sternus activity and people leaving job. So just because you're undergoing IVF doesn't mean that you have to leave your job and then concentrate on IVF. Everything goes hand in hand. So you can continue with your job and then undergo IVF treatment also. So the success rate is not going to matter with that and there won't be any pregnancy complications just because you're going ahead with job.